What you doing? <laughs> I thought I heard something. I'm just painting. Doing a little paint paint? Just doing a little painting. <laughs> what you been doing for this whole week? God, what have I been doing for the last month, really? Uh, getting this house ready to sell. My lovely wife, she has been Buster and Keister, we are doing all the things at our house that we've said we are gonna, we've wanted to do for like five years. When we first moved in, we we're like, yeah, let's paint the hat, let's paint. We still have the original paint. <laughs> so we've been scrambling to do all of these things. When I say we, I really mean her. She has done most of it because I have been gone. I have. Thank you for that credit. Yes. I really appreciate that. I have been, I have been in uh, one of our nation's national treasures, Yosemite. I went trout fishing. Um, I know it sounds it sounds like a ton of fun. I was actually doing uh, a lot of work. It was fun work. It was fun work doing some uh, promotions for Mountain Dew, and they sent us on the sweepstakes giveaway with these winners, and it was it was fun. One thing I did right before I left was I trimmed out the windows, and um, OSG's wanted me to do that for years. I wanted so. that window to look nice for years because I stare at that window. And now it looks great. Look at it. Sixty percent of my day. Look at it. It's great now. <laughs> I did it. You finally did it. I did it in the final hour. The final hour that we're here. I will tell you guys that we had a house uh, that we liked and um, seems like that's falling through now. It's falling through with some things. Things are rocky with it. Um, it's, I don't know. We might end up living in a, in a trailer for a while. And I've been really discombobulated because I just got home and it's like, I want to go fishing. The weather's been cool, um, and I don't want to take you guys along for that, but there's just more important things in life at this moment, and that is uh, helping my wife. Um, last minute drain clog, got in there with the snake, and I gotta, I gotta do the sink next, because my wife has a lot of hair. So we essentially have like our daily, our daily routine, work routines, uh, and OSG, keep, keeping it locked down with the kiddos, and then Today's an exception because um, my mom's keeping the kids, but she goes she goes on the night watch and she gets her she gets her paints out. She starts painting, and so now my my office area looks completely different. There were all these fixes that she wanted to do. All these she she's been wanting to paint in here for an entire year, and she finally uh, or in a few years she finally did. She rearranged. She rearranged my things. My bass is over here now. My desk is completely moved out. It's discombobulations, guys. It's discombobulations. And my adventure prep room has turned into the uh, the paint prep room. A lot of my stuff is actually gone. It's in boxes. My adventure stuff is in boxes, guys. We're, we're doing this. We're actually doing this. By the way, look at this. OSG, when I was gone on a few trips ago, I come home and she set me up a, a bow rack in the cave. Looks amazing. Uh, anyways, guys, I'm, I'm just, I'm really stressed out about moving. Uh, this is our first time moving with kids and it's, it's been just extremely stressful. I'm gonna pick a little cherry right here. I've been wanting to try one of these bad boys. Look at this, a cherry tomato we've been growing. Give it a whirl. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. A vine, a vine ripened, homegrown tomato. Zero pesticides. Grown with the, uh, the help of some fish skins and things I filleted and thrown in there. Wow, those are tasty. My homegirls are squawking over here. Let's see what's cracking. Somebody laying an egg? I hope so. Production's been a little weak lately. Who's in here? Who's doing the deed? Oh, we've got our, uh, our little lavender girl in here. She's she's popping one out. Just crazy good weather right now, and it's really making me think I, I need to, just as a stress reliever, just go hit the lake. I don't care if I catch anything. I just want to cast. just want to relieve some stress throughout my life. That has been... Uh, the number one source of relief is getting on the water, getting in the woods when times are just crazy. But I do need to uh, do need to patch my crack here. So I'm gonna throw a little silicone 
Throw a little silicone on the crack just as a, a, a temporary fix. Okay, that's about it. Just one little bead on a tiny crack. See if that stops our leaks for now. Oh yeah. It's everybody's favorite job, plumbing. I swear when you become a homeowner, you become so many part-time occupations. Happens here. Oh, yeah, I see the water. You see it? It's coming. It's gonna come out. Oh my gosh. I'm embarrassed to even show what's in here. It's, it's a lot of my wife's hair. It's long. Oh, ah, it smells. Oh, wow. Mm. Married life. Married life. God love, God love her. God love her. God love her. Clogged drains and all. Oh, God. We got to take a breather. It's bad. Bad. It's, honey, it's bad. It's so bad, honey. What? Yeah, it's so bad. The smell is so bad. Have you ever seen that movie, The Ring? I think that little girl's living in there. I think she's in there. I think she expired like a while ago. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed for us. You don't even want to know. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna clean this up, and it's gonna be fine. But I just want you to know, it's bad. I do love you. Honestly, I think it's like, <laughs> it's a buildup of like makeup and hair. <laughs> There's a lot of things going on in there. Y'all, I don't even wear makeup, so I don't understand how my sinks keep clogging up. I don't understand why it smells so bad. <laughs> I don't know. I just, seriously, I don't even wear makeup, so how is this a problem? <laughs> Well, bam. All right. We got it done. How's your nose? Permanently Babe, damaged? That was <laughs> the initial, um, I'm gonna tell you something. I've, <laughs> I've cut open in, into the cavities of quite a few animals. <laughs> it was like skinning a wild boar. Just the amount of hair, hair that came up on the snake. Oh. Uh, and it was just like, and the makeup was like the fat. You ever got, you guys ever like clean an animal? There's like a lot of fat and hair on your knife and you're just like, oh, you're trying to clean it off. It didn't even smell as bad as that. It was, it was way worse. It was way worse than that. Anyway. There was a lot of lotions. There's a, there was a lot of cream lotion stuff. Just like, it was, it was kind of that orange look, you know, maybe some self tanner mixed in. Shh, don't tell them It was, it was, it was a lot of that. Well, you know what? It's, it's payback for all those diapers that I changed. Payback for the diapers you changed? Yeah, yeah I've yeah. changed a lot of diapers. You have. I, and thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. This is actually a room that you guys, this is our favorite room in the house that you guys really don't get to see that much. I know it's kind of it's kind of dark in here at the moment, but uh, this is where Africa lives. <clears throat> it's where the African animals reside, some African bulls. Um, there, there was a lot of like personal, personable accomplishments hung up in here, but those have since been kind of put away. Um, you know, we got some white tails, we got a few ducks in the mix, uh, some sheds. This is just kind of the, this is the combo area. You're just looking out, you're looking out over the deck, you're looking out into the woods. Maybe, uh, maybe you spot a squirrel or a bird. You know, from your from your post up here, have a little coffee, have a little combo. It's a uh, it's a really cool room. My favorite room in the house. I think it's yeah, it's our favorite room. This is like our space. Also, speaking of things that I like, pump gas, catch bass. This has been one of our popular 
cellars and our hats. We decided to make a shirt out of it, but it fits my head better than 90% of the hats that we have produced. Football season, babe, are you ready for football season? Woo! Ready for cool weather. I am just, you know, with, with the disarray, with the disarray of things, I love watching college football. I'm not like super into it, like all the stats and teams. I just, I love the nostalgia. I love having, I love hearing it on Saturdays when I'm off the water or I'm coming back from a hunt. I'm cooking up some deer chili. I'm, you know, cooking up some fish on the grill. That is uh, just a staple. The, you know, don't, don't matter what house we've been in, where we've been at, that is a staple. You know, you got tape on your rear. I do? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nope, no idea. I can't blame it on the kids, can I? All right, how are we doing up here? What's my uh, steady hand? I think you got one little, I see one little yeah, patch there. I got a little too excited. Yeah. Other than that. I mean, that color is going to melt in, right? And be like normal. So right now it looks a little light for the wall. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Do you see spider webs? What, do you see above, above the sign? Uh, yeah, there's a family unit. There's a family unit in there. The spiders are loving and laughing. Yeah, sometimes I see these really like spindly long spiders. You guys let us know in the comments. I think brown recluses. No, they're called basement spiders. Called no, basement. They're, they're actually called cellar spiders, aren't they? I don't know. Look it up. Pretty I don't know. I, I don't think brown recluses have webs. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. Uh, I see a lot of these like spindly guys that are kind of freak me out. They look reclusey. No, they're totally harmless. Let me, let me look okay. this up for you. Okay. OSG's gonna. Because I was concerned one day too. <laughs> Seller. They only come out when you sell your home. No. <laughs> they live in the basement. <laughs> they are found in dark, damp places. Okay. So let's down show in the basement. Them. Let's show them. Is that what you're talking about? These spindly things? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see? Oh, that one's creepy looking. It has like a butt full of eggs. Yeah, I guess that's them. Yeah, it's that thing. Okay, cellar just... spiders. We're gonna rock some catfish tonight. I'm gonna show you my favorite. We're gonna go old school, babe. We're gonna do with the blackened steel pan. Psh, 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 hit it hot in the oven. Wah bam! I don't think you could beat that. I've been trying to beat it. I don't think you can. I don't think you can either because I love it when you do it and I don't have to. Oh. <laughs> do we have a little rice pilaf? What are we thinking for a side tonight? I can do rice pilaf. That's... Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, what you do you got see, now? I see this for you. Wait, that's just a video. Oh, is this is this you cooking in the yes, kitchen? Yes, I was cooking in the kitchen while you were gone. Wow, that thing is. That got thing some, is huge. It's got some mitts. Like, what? What'd you do? I just watched it to see what it was gonna do. <laughs> that thing is as big as a brick. It's as big as one of those bricks. It's it's kind of part of the ecosystem. It's like it eats other spiders, so you just kind of let it, let it do its thing. By the way, guys, if you missed the episode, me and Lojo staying in a tree house in the jungle, the spiders that came out that night were insane. Um, I will, I will link that video so you guys can go watch it because I really didn't sleep that much. Um, you can understand why. In the kitchen, it's finger licking. In the kitchen with OSG. Just writes itself. <laughs> really does. You guys that have been uh, here for a long time, you already know. For those that are new, I like to sing in the kitchen with my wife. We're happy about it. Um, I like the way she cooks, but today I'm throwing it down with my catfish recipe. What do you got, girl? What's up? It's probably water. I think it's water. I think it's water. I was thinking water okay. in there. Maybe the move is a good thing. My daughter's amazing. <laughs> Let's just, I, I, I did not, I swear we did not stage this. <laughs> and she has never asked to clean the windows ever. In her life. <laughs> so I think seeing, uh, I think seeing mommy. I Daddy? Help clean up the house for moving. Aww, you're doing a great job. Wow, you're just doing so amazing right now. This is great. This is great. Now we just need Ben not to destroy anything. Ben's asleep right now. It's okay. the best thing he could be doing. <laughs> Terrible twos going on threes. So we got our blue catfish right here. Uh, these are these were caught recently. Vacuum sealed them, and uh, they look amazing. 
I went ahead and dabbed them off with a paper towel and I've mixed a little olive oil and a variety of spices, like five different things. I put, put Old Bay in there, I put a uh, little Cajun, I put uh, some like Traeger mix in there and then some all purpose, just kind of mix it up. I normally don't do it this way. I just, I usually just mix it in dry, add olive oil to the pan, but I'm gonna try it this way and just see what happens. Coat some of these and then I'm gonna finish them up with a brush. Get this big boy right here. Look at wow. that. Wow. I mean, blue cats. This is half. This is half a filet on a blue cat. My favorite way to have these is blackened. So we're gonna get the pan hot. We're going to sear them and then I'm gonna throw the whole stainless steel pan in the oven. What I'm also noticing about this method is that I'm getting um, I'm getting more out of my spice. So I probably put like a quarter cup of olive oil in this bowl and I mix the spices in there and it's just, it, it's getting evenly coated. I'm not wasting much at all. So I might actually get my fingers dirty and go back in for another dip. Cause it's always a dip time. Shout out to my boy Outlaw. <laughs> Haven't seen you in a while. All right. <laughs> I was gonna say something there, but I'm gonna hold. No, no. You've seen enough today. Oh, this is the perfect amount. Quarter cup, that's perfect. All right, that's covered nicely. I'm just gonna wash my hands real quick. I'm gonna take my rubber brush. Stephanie always has the towels hanging. I always put them here. Yeah, it bugs me. That's you a, did that's not wash your hands. You rinsed them. I did, with water. I rinsed no, them. He rinsed them. them. Yes. You did not wash. Little brush and just coat any part that doesn't look thick. And I'm just gonna throw that back in the fridge until we have the pan hot. And we're also going to put uh, turn the oven on. Preheat the oven. What do we normally do at? Three three seventy five. I think it's three seventy five. Could be. I believe so. How do I operate this? Bake. <laughs> Bake. Get out of here. Get out of here. You go for Bake, it. Bake. You start. It, girl. You want 375? 375. Oh, okay. Let's go. And then this is key. You can do cast iron, but as you may or may not know, most Michelin high end chefs choose stainless steel. When I'm done, cooking the fish or whatever I'm cooking, I rinse it out right away. I'll leave it hanging. I don't do many dishes. This is really the only dish that I do and I maintain it. <laughs> Cast irons, stainless steels, I keep those things rocking. There we go. The pan is actually gonna cool down as we put the fish in here as well. So this is on medium heat now. Oh, I should have put it in the other way. We got two little ones left. Smells incredible. Man, I got one, one little buddy left here. I should have flipped that one around. I will make it work. Throw it in there. And then we're going to take our butter and we're going to plop that right in the middle. Yeah, these are not sticking whatsoever. Oh, man. Oh, man, isn't that beautiful? Mm. That's great. That's what we're looking for. A little bit of crust. Oh no, messed up the stuff. Pause is not the best way. You have a fish with this. Yeah. He's, he's looking for it. That's the perfect amount of uh, crust and color. Maybe like 30 seconds, 45 seconds. On this heat, cut it off, throw it in the oven. It really comes out. Mm. What do you, do? you got a flavor bomb. Flavor bomb going in. Wa bam! We've got just the right amount of oil in there. It's gonna evaporate with uh, with the oven, the convection, 
to keep it nice, juicy, but get that crispness on the other side, perfectly seasoned. I like the way it's looking. OSG's making a little rice pilaf situation. Well, bam. That's how we do it. It's been five minutes. Get yourself a good stainless steel. You can throw it in the oven. Oh, yeah. Got this piece. That's, that's the... That's the man's piece right there. Say, That's the I king's want, piece. I want this one or that one. Okay. Those look good. That can be the queen piece. Okay. What's the matter, bud? Just wake up from a nap? You sad? You're going to be in a mood, I can already tell. Mm -hmm. That's his coping groans. His coping groans. He goes... So he's he's working he's working something out. Oh, mama. mama, feed me, feed me, mama. mama. He's going through a growth spurt right now. Oh. A little pants here at okra over some rice, black and catfish. My gosh, exquisimente. I'm not even sure if that's an actual Spanish word, but I just went with it. Oh, those little blues. Those little blues are so delish. Just had our delicious catfish. I took a evening trail walk. There's a lot of pig tracks. Selling a home is, and buying a home at the same time, that's, that's probably one of the most stressful things to go through besides like death or severe illness. And those of you that are self-employed that go to try to apply for a mortgage, you, you understand how difficult it is, but I'm just gonna tell you guys, at, that have a that have a steady job, you know, and you just work somewhere. And it's you get get that paycheck, and it's just just great consistency. That is wonderful for um, mortgage brokers. But if you're self-employed, it's a it's a search of the rear end to try to figure out how are you making money, especially if you, if you do if you do YouTube. Good luck. Anyway, I'm trying to simplify, downsize, and organize this year. That is those three things. Just And right now it's just a big hill. I'm trying to get up and a lot of stress. So I'm ready to go fishing. So y'all stay tuned. Next video, I'm going dangling. And I'm just, I'm just vlogging. Whatever's going to be there. Our fresh start, our, our move, and everything that comes along with it, man. So thank you guys for being here. I love you. I can't thank y'all enough for uh, subscribing, watching our videos. And uh, we do run into some of y'all every once in a while and it's so cool to see you. Um, and actually, I actually met a, f I met a fan out in California the other day. Um, actually, right when we got off the plane and right when I was leaving, daggum, Cali, representing, love to see it. Um, anyway, thank you guys very much. I'll see you guys on the next video.